Hey everyone, what's going on? Joey Contino here, and as you know, Mori's Adventure Pier has been going through a massive transformation. This past winter, they removed the boat tag, Coors Brothers, a couple games to make room for their brand new food hall. And a lot of you guys have been asking me, Joey, can you finally give us a tour? And yes, now that it's officially open, let's go ahead and give you guys a tour. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications, and you give this video a thumbs up and a special thank you out to my patrons on Patreon.com. It's because of them I can make fun videos like this. If you want to go ahead and support this channel and have your name at the end of the video, all you have to do is click the links in the description below. Also, please make sure you subscribe as we're trying to hit 100,000 subscribers by Labor Day weekend. Anyway, let's get started. We're going to start our tour starting at Spencer Avenue and making our way south. Some people refer to this pier as the first pier or third pier, depending on where you come from. If you're coming from the end of the boardwalk in the south, this is your first pier. If you're coming from North Wildwood, this is your third pier. To me, this is always going to be Wild Wheels, third pier, whatever you want to call it that way. But just walking over, you can see this yellow container here. It's actually four different containers. And this is the new and third location for Curly Fries. At the time of this video, you can notice that they don't have the sign up here yet, but it's gonna be a big Curly Fries sign. You can see how they cut out this massive window to actually serve folks. And then they have the story of Joe Curly up here, which you may wanna pause the video to read. Okay, and you'll see there's a little seating area over here so you can get your Curly Fries and make your way over here. I actually like this, this is really cool. And of course, I gotta know, what do you put on your curly fries? Because they have hot sauce, they have vinegar, salt of course, ketchup, and they don't have mustard over here. I put mustard on mine. And of course, always have to go with the vinegar, but still, let me know what you guys put on your curly fries. On a complete side note, I am doing a new video this year where I'm trying out all of your concoctions that you do on the boardwalk. So someone reached out to me, this is how actually it started. Someone reached out to me and said, hey, have you ever gotten Coors Brothers and dipped your curly fries in it? I said, no, I've never tried that before. And they're like, you gotta try it, you will love it. So I figured, and this is where you guys put your suggestions in this video. If there is something that you do up here that is unique to you, something you'd like to try, Put it in the comment section. I'm gonna to try to make a video of it. My weird thing is that I get my crust from Sam's Pizza and then I dip it in the birch beer. You gotta try it, you'll like it. If you remember, Maury's Piers chose to go with the containers. You can see the yellow ones, the green ones, and there's more down there for cores because it's an extension off of the art box. If you remember, the art box is all made of containers, and so they're continuing that, and then eventually, they're gonna make this into a complete food court. So there'll be like alcoholic places and different kind of restaurants, most likely like, think of it like a food truck kind of establishments. And um, I mean, this place is gonna be so happening once it's done. It's still under construction in a way, like I said before. There's signs and things that still need to be put up. But let's continue the tour because they added in a lot more. There used to be a water game here. Well, this is a new one. It's a double-decker one. Yes, the signs aren't out there just yet. But this is all for their seagulls. This is a water game I've never seen before. First of all, how funny is this seagull, right? And this is the game. Here's your water gun. And you can see you get three different targets to hit. Who's going to be our next contestant? Who's going to be our next group of players? Who's going to be our next winner? And um, water race game. Here's the rules. You guys want back up just so you can see it. This is called Sunny's Water Race. As you can tell, there's a lot of Sunny's. I want the avocado, to be honest with you. I think the avocado is pretty cool. We're going to continue our way back over here. This is the new Coors Brothers. Once it's done, it's going to be two stories. You can see the steps going up that way. So you'll be able to get your ice cream and make your way up. And this is also made of containers. You can kind of see it, and they still have the blue on the sides. And here's a quick tour of the Coors Brothers. You can see inside the machines. And this is going to be that second level. Once again, they haven't put in the railings just yet, or the chairs up there. There's the monster trucks. And this is the other side of 
Sonny's water race. It's double-sided. Looks like someone's about to play. <laughs> and we'll make our way back. So eventually there will be more things back here. We got Aloha Smoothie Company. They've been here for quite some time. And honestly, they're really, really good. You've got the radio stations back here. A lot of people actually been asking me if they still have some of the old rides back here, and they do. So here's the old Sea Dragon up here. There's the Condor. And the radio stations broadcast up here. They also have the Annie Ann. So imagine part of the food courts. You still have Annie Ann pretzels, and you have Aloha over here. And I'm assuming they're going to be adding more this way. Somebody asked me, are they going to bring the art back to the art box? And to be honest with you, I don't know. That's a great question. As of right now, there is no art back here, just some of the old rides and some advertisements for some places and some cool facts from time to time. Um, like I think there's something out front about the Great White and something about the Giant Wheel. But uh, right now, it's vacant. Eventually, they will be bringing stuff back here. So don't worry, with some time, they're still working in all of this. We're continuing our tour to the back of the pier. We got the ticket office in front of us. Oh, look at this, Maury's fenced off where the concerts are. So maybe they'll be adding some food places back there. Could be possible. The Great White is running today. Perfect day for it. Someone asked about the maze. No, the maze is gone, as you can tell. And the helicopters too. Someone asked about the helicopters. I have not seen them in over three years now. And now I'm going to tell you guys a secret. If there's ever a chance where you're looking for the perfect place to kind of just enjoy the views, there's a platform up here. You can actually go up there, enjoy the views of the beach. It's not open right now because it's too windy. I mean, I don't know if you can tell how windy it is. It's, it's really windy, but Usually you can go up here and check it out. And when they used to have the helicopter rides, you were able to go up there and watch the helicopters take off the land because they used to take off right back here. There goes the Great White. So there you guys go. That is the new Adventure Pier. Once again, it is still under construction. So if you're coming up right now, probably by the time you watch this video, it'll be closer to done. But I like it. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section. And if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. 100,000 by Labor Day. I think we could do it. Anyway, I'm Joey. As always, I'll see you on the beach, which is right over there. See you later. Bye.